we're now around a month away from the launch of a new iPhone, or, more accurately, three iPhones. Yes, that's right, we're expecting three new 2018 phones from Apple. The iPhone 11 release date is just around the corner, at least that's if Apple sticks to its regular September announcement window like everybody expects it to do. Chipset and Battery All the 2017 Apple iPhone models featured the same May 11 Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture, a neural engine and an embedded M11 motion coprocessor. We're likely to see either an A11X processor in the 2018 iPhone models, or an A12 chip, depending on what Apple chooses to call it. Either way, it will no doubt offer performance improvements, and almost certainly battery improvements. And, according to G Securities analyst Ming Kai Kuo, the new iPhone flagship will have a two-cell battery leading to increase the battery life by around 25% 3300 to 3400 ma. If this is an iPhone X Plus as is rumored with the 6.5-inch display mentioned above then there would be only minor upgrades over last year's iPhone X. iPhone 11 will support the Apple Pencil. According to the report, Apple will introduce support for the Apple Pencil on the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Plus. While these old devices are both big phones, with one rumored to have a 6.5 inch display, Apple is upping iPhone 11 storage. The iPhone 11 is said to gain more storage this time around, with Apple upping its iPhone X successors to the same 512 GB seen in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This would mean you'll end up with three storage options on the iPhone 11 and 64 GB. 256 GB and 512 GB. The iPhone 11 is having a memory boost. Even though Apple doesn't disclose RAM size in its iPhones, it's believed the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Plus will be seeing an increase to 4 GB of RAM. The iPhone 9 will remain on 3GB, just like the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone X. iPhone 11 Price Previous pricing predictions for the iPhone 11 had been all over the place. Early on some analysts had predicted that Apple would make its iPhone X successor $300 cheaper than its predecessor. Now we're hearing that Apple is set to drop the price of the iPhone 11 by $100 compared to last year's iPhone X. This makes it a shade cheaper than the iPhone 8, but a lot more of an attractive proposition than the iPhone 11 for cost-conscious consumers. iPhone 11 displays and sizes this year looks like it could be the most confusing year for iPhone releases from Apple since they unveiled the iPhone 5 and iPhone 5C. This means there will be a 6.1 inlet iPhone 9 to replace the iPhone 8 and a 5.8 in old iPhone 11 to replace the iPhone X and a new 6.5 in old iPhone 11 plus to come in as a larger sized version of the iPhone X.